a daredevil. At five years old, he jumped off pump house roofs with a, a dish towel playing Superman. So the racetrack was the best thing he could do. And yeah, for, for a few years, I was a nervous wreck when he raced, but I never missed it because I had to be there. In I started. 30 years. This is the 30th year. Somebody estimated it was like 52,000 times or something, or 50, maybe 57, because we figured out it was 228,000 left turns. My grandmother said, what are you going to do after high school? And I said, I want to race because I'd been on a pit crew for a couple of years. And she said, well, I'll buy you a car. So I found an empty car and she bought it and I paid her back. And then the motor came out of my willies and the transmission was out of my willies. And uh, you know the rear end was already in it. So it was like the roll cage in a gas tank. I was scared, I was nervous as a mother, but I was real proud of him because I knew that was his dream. I still, every time he heads for the racetrack, I say a little prayer, you know, just take care of my son and get him through the night. Because <laughs> he's, he's a daredevil. <laughs> Thirty years, I've never missed a race. I don't go to weddings, I don't go to funerals, I don't go to class reunions, I race. <laughs>